I'm curious, you know, just in terms of the timing, you know, there's the old game that we hear about, telephone, telegram, (laughs) telewrestler. Yeah. And that summer, we're going to get the big showdown with with Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. Hulk Hogan's coming to WCW. Did you, at this point, had you heard Hogan might be coming in? And did you think, perhaps, that you would be an opponent for him? Because what we had seen in the WWF was Hogan needed a heel factory. Just one big bad guy after another... Uh, from Kamala to a big boss man to whomever. And it felt like the Cactus Jack persona, if it was a heel, could have been a prime candidate for Hogan. That's a great point, Conrad. I don't think I ever once saw it that way. I think because by the time Hulk came, I had already given my notice. Right. In my head, it wasn't a matter. It wasn't, it wasn't a heel versus babyface equation. It was Mick Foley equals no future here. Yeah. Um, so when Hulk came in, Kevin Sullivan and I were teaming up. Um, we uh, Max Payne and I had had a heck of a match with the Nasty Boys. Unbelievable. Um, and that was supposed to be my last match before I had that surgery done. And so I actually said something on that. This is where it's a strange thing because you're uh you're you're in the zone because I'm walking from the uh, I'm to, uh the name of the hotel will come to me in a second it was just across the parking lot the clarion the clarion uh was just across the parking lot from the the venue uh the all state arena um which is not in downtown chicago yeah. but it's uh in a suburb it was right across the parking lot i was already on edge because I felt like this uh, uh, thing with uh, me and Vader had been dropped prematurely yeah. and my push had been dropped and so I was uh, not so much confronted but approached by a camera crew uh, because Missy Hyatt had filed a claim oh. against WCW mm-hmm. and I said the immortal words kind of in in kind of in character but I said, if you can reach down into Ted's deep pockets, go ahead and do something to those words. Basically, going, hey, go ahead and get some money out of Ted. And I remember uh, the next day, Eric Bischoff calling me up and asking if I'd said that. I said, yeah, I guess I had. So I was, it was a harsh reprimand. Um, and then uh, I think on that same day, Kevin Sullivan called me up. Uh, he had heard I was leaving to have my ear fixed and he said brother can you put that off a little while um uh evad had been injured remember that was uh uh, dave sullivan who uh had dyslexia was a big hogan fan was teaming up with kevin and he wanted to know if i would take uh kevin's place to take on the nasty boys Uh, okay and so we ended up being pushed and even winning the w the wcw tag team titles while I was kind of in the doghouse. So it was, it didn't bury me by any means, not by any means. Uh, I mean, WCW, it was always going to be a secondary title, but it was a nice run, and it was with Sullivan. I owed a lot to Sullivan because we, he'd done for me in 1990. So I had given my notice, but they pushed me. They pushed me, and I think I said at the show uh, that you were at in Huntsville a couple of weeks ago, I was like, they pushed me, but they never once sat me down and asked me to reconsider. Yeah. So if they had ever sat me down and said, hey, look, Hulk's going to need some opponents. We think a heel Cactus Jack would be a great opponent for Hulk. Uh, we'd like to keep you on for another you know, for another year. Uh, then I may have uh, taken that ramp. But no one ever sat me down and asked me to reconsider. And uh, so I was, you know, setting up my, uh, not my debut with, uh, with ECW, because I'd done something in conjunction with ECW as part of WCW. Including but, the tag titles, which we'll talk about. Uh, yeah, 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 that's, yeah. Yeah, that was, that got me some heat. And that was a good promo, too. Oh, fantastic. That was a great promo. So when I got all the heat for spitting on the titles, my question to Rick was, did you see the promo? Did you see the promo? Like, in context... It's, I'm not burying WCW just because I spit on their title. I, I specifically mentioned how much I love that title, how much it meant to me, but that I'd lost even more that night. And the fact, the fact that I'd lost to Sabu, and I'm saying that and putting him over as strongly as I could because it was told 
I was told how important this alliance was. So I was doing what I thought was best for WCW and came across like I was burying WCW, which I was not. I, uh, I just can't help but wonder, you know, the old hypothetical, what would Cactus Jack and Hulk Hogan look like? At, I don't know, say Halloween Havoc 94. That could have been something else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because Hulk and I are both limited physically. Yeah. But um, as far as getting people involved in his storylines, man, he's got a tra track record that's pretty much second to none. It, it would have been a lot better than the, with the Dungeon of Doom we got. Let's Is that what they that. got? Is that... They got the Dungeon of Doom with Earthquake. Was He thought he was a fish. and Yeah, it was a lot of less uh, yeah. than stuff. If, if, yeah, if we had done the, the turn and they gave me some mic time, uh, I think it could have been good. I think Hulk and Mick Foley could have been. Am I, now I'm talking about myself in third person. <laughs> I think Hulk and I could have, uh, could have had a good match in TNA if I hadn't left there. Yeah. Early and I, I've uh, when I'm asked about Hulk, I'll say two types of people in the world: the type of person who's going to pretend it's not a big deal to be in the ring with him, and the type of person who's going to acknowledge that it is a big deal to be in the ring with him. And when I saw we had chemistry in the ring, I thought oh, we could have done him. We could have done a match. Not saying it would have been explosive. Not saying it would have ranked high up there on the five star meter. But in '94. Uh, yeah, '94. Yeah, I'm talking about oh, 2010. Yeah. But in '94, oh yeah, yeah, we could have we we could have burned it down in '94. Sure. Yeah. 